Hey guys, welcome to the 37th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Stream Reader class a little bit more in depth. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a text box. And you're also going to need the code that we used in the last tutorial. So, in the last tutorial, we only really concentrated on reading the information to the right of here. Just this, just this right here, this text. Well, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at reading these, and these are all bytes. So, in order to do that, we're just going to want to use the sr.basestream.readbyte. We're going to look at that method first. And basically, what this will do is it will just read a byte. And since we haven't specified a position, it will just read the first byte in, in right here. So, it'll be 61. However, this isn't 61 how you and I know it. This is 61 in hexadecimal. And hexadecimal is basically a different way of representing numbers. And hexadecimal is a number system based off of 15s. So instead of going like 9, 10, 11, it goes 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, and then 10. So like I said, it's a number system based off of 15s. So we can, like as you can see right there, there's a 6A and a 6B. Well, yeah, it can contain um, uh, letters. It can contain letters A through F. So the maximum value for a byte, like I said in the uh, 35th C Sharp tutorial, was 255. Well, 255 in hexadecimal is FF. So it, hexadecimal will allow every byte to be only uh, two characters in length and not uh, three if we were to go up to 255. So when we read this byte, if we were to read this byte into the text box right here, and use the dot to string method to convert it into a string. Well, instead of uh, converting it into hexadecimal, it will convert it into decimal. So when we uh, open this up and read this right here, it will appear as though we read the wrong value. Well, actually, we didn't. 61 in decimal, or the common number system that we use, is 97. So in order for it to be displayed as in hexadecimal, we're going to have to put um, an X right inside of there. And basically what this will do is it will just um, allow us to, or it will, it will, it will um, represent the number as hexadecimal. So now we debug and open up that text file to read it. Yeah, we get 61, which is exactly what it should be. So say you want to only, or say you want to read multiple bytes and not just one byte. Well, instead of calling this method multiple times, what we can do is we can use the um, read method. Or no, dot base stream dot read. And what this will do is it will read multiple bytes. And right here, the first uh, argument that it calls for right here is a byte array. So we're going to go ahead and go up here and just create a new byte array. Let's call it my Actually, no, we'll call it buffer. And usually byte arrays are called buffers, or byte arrays that you're going to be reading information into are called buffers. So just something you should probably know. I'm just going to have it be equal to a new empty byte array, and it will just be uh, three bytes in length. So now we can just uh, type buffering right there, which is our byte array that we just created. And then this int offset right here, well, that is the um, element in our byte array that we're going to have it start at, or start reading information into. And we're just going to want to have it start at the zeroth element, or the, just the beginning element in the array. And then the int count is how many, um, uh, how many bytes you want it to read. And we're just going to have it read three, which will be these three bytes right here, because um, the length for our byte array is only three. So we're just going to have it read three all it calls for. So now after it calls this method, our um, buffer, or our byte array right here, should have the bytes 61, 73, and 64 in it. Well, in order to display those in the text box, we're going to use a for each statement. So it'll go through each element, or each byte in this uh, byte array buffer right here, and it will read it into the, or it will write it into the text box. So we're just going to call it my byte. 
and I'm going to say in buffer or our byte array right here. And then we're going to have text box one's text plus equal um, this byte dot two string. But remember, we're going to have to put an X inside of here so that in the uh, in the text box it will be seen as hexadecimal. And we're just going to go ahead and also have it put a space in between each byte so that we can read it a little bit easier. Because otherwise, it would just be a whole bunch of numbers all squished together, and that's no fun to read. So now, when we debug here and click button one, we open up our file. We should get the bytes 61, 73, and 64 in the text box. Yep. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you actually, no, I'm going to show you two more things. But the next thing I'm going to show you is how to uh, set your position or tell the writer what position you want it to um, write at. Well, we're going to have to set something called the, uh, the offset or the position that we want it to read from. Well, say we want it to start at right here. So say we want to read these three bytes. Well, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to tell the reader to start there. And as you can go down here, you'll have to see the offset is 4. Now, you just remember that. We'll use that in a second. So what we're going to do down here is we're going to do sr.baseStream.position. And this will set the position of the reader. And we're going to want to have it start right here. And we're going to use this offset right here. And that's the position in the file that we want it to start at. So we're going to have it start at this 4 offset. Let's say 4. So now it should read these three bytes. It should read 66, 67, and 73. Yep, 66, 67, and 73, just like in HXD. Well, let's say we want to have it start over here. Well, the offset is C. How are we supposed to represent this in um, C sharp? We can't just put C right there because it says the name C does not exist in the current context. Well, in order to represent um, hexadecimal in C sharp, you're just going to want to put 0x in front of it. And now this will represent. Um, hexadecimal. But if we just put C, that would represent C0. We want it to represent 0C. So now when we debug, it should read these three bytes right here, which is 61, 66, and 61 again. So now we go ahead, open this text file, we get sep yep, 61, 66, and 61. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on stream readers. In the next tutorial, we're going to be getting into stream writers, writing information. So that's it. See you guys.